Hi viewers, this is Troy coming to you from the heart of the web video universe. I know a lot of you online video professionals rely on Sorens and Squeeze for your encoding needs. You probably know a new version of Squeeze, Squeeze 5, just came out. If you're wondering what the new features are and whether or not you should upgrade, take a look at this. Sorens and Squeeze 5 will be immediately recognizable to anyone who's used a previous version of Squeeze that the interface hasn't changed too much, but there are some important differences. Encoding formats over here are now viewable in different ways. If you choose Format Sort from the pop-up menu right here, you've got your standard format list. You can also choose the new Workflow Sort option, and then you can sort by end result. For example, if you want to save encode for iPhone and iPod, uh, just do that, and then right here, you've got in the list, you've got iPhone and iPod, and you see settings just for them. Sorensen Squeeze 5 also includes Blu-ray support right here under the disk menu, so you can do HD for Blu-ray. You can also make custom favorites easily by dragging on a filter. I won't do it now, but you just drag it like that. And you can also drag in copy to FTP so that when you run your encoding, everything happens at once and there's no nothing to worry about. If you're looking for a format, you can use the new search box here, for example, type in iPod. It's a little bit slow, but uh, there it goes. And there you've got the iPod settings right away. Now we'll go over here to filter presets to see a few other important changes. Click on one of your filters, and it's going to open up a new interface for changing the filter settings. It's taking just a second because I'm using video capture software. Here we go. You'll see this interface has been refined slightly. One new addition by popular demand is the ability to watermark your video. You can choose the graphic for the watermark, choose the placement on the video, and the level of opacity for the watermark. You can change audio volume now entirely within Sorensen, and you can use this filter to increase your audio level by up to 400%. If you're using the professional version, you've got bias sound soap included, which you can use to remove any hisses or pops from your work. That's all for this week. Remember to check back every day at webvideouniverse.com for more online video news and tips. Until next time, happy shooting.